Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we're going to look at Photoshop fix and retouching a face. So let's jump in and see how it's done. So here you can see my iPad. I've got it all ready to go, and I've got Photoshop fix already downloaded at the top there. I'm just going to tap on that and open it up. Now it comes preloaded with some samples. So let's open our own just by clicking on the plus sign over on the left hand side. And then I can choose where I'm going to load my document from. And I'm going to go to the Creative Cloud and to Stock. And then I've got this Photolia image at the top there. I'm going to click Open Image and then it's going to open that in Photoshop Fix for me. Now, once there, you can see we have a whole host of tools available to us. It's quite extensive, but the one we're looking at today is the Liquify tool, this third icon along. I'm going to just tap that. And then in there, you see that we've got Warp, Swell, and Twirl. And these are the same as Push, Bloat, and Twirl in Photoshop. Couple along, you see that we've got Face. If I tap on that, up come these pins. These pins have automatically discovered where the face is in this image. And I can tap on any of the pins to adjust what's underneath. So let's do the eyes, for example. I'm just going to tap on the eye there. And you can see that I can size it, tilt it, height and width. So let's have a look at the size. I'm going to tap on size and then I get this slider. If I go down or I go up, you can see the difference that it's making. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. I'm then going to tap on height, just bring that down a little bit as well, just so she's scowling a little bit at me. Let's go and select the mouth now. I'm just going to tap on the mouth and you can see I can change the smile so I can bring that up or down should I wish. I'm going to leave it in the middle for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the upper lip, bring that up a little bit and then take the lower lip and bring that down just so she's a bit more pouty and then click on width and reduce that just so she's pouting a little bit more. Now, if I click on the face again, you can see that we can change the face distortions. So let's go for that a go. I've just tapped on that and then bringing up the slider or bringing down the slider. Actually, I'm not too keen on that for this image. I'm going to leave it in the middle. You can see that I can affect the jawline and I can affect the chin as well. I'm quite liking where it was to start with anyway. Okay, I can also go on the nose here and change the width of the nose if I wanted to. I'm actually quite like this. This model is lovely the way she is, of course. Let's go back to the eyes though and give it a bit of a tilt just so she looks like she's scowling a little bit more at me. There we go. And very quickly, we've changed this image. I'm just going to click the tick now and there we are. We are done and that will be saved to my creative cloud. All I have to do is click on the top here and save that. I can save it to the library, send it to Photoshop or elsewhere. Let's send it to Photoshop and see what happens. So there we go. Automatically, it's opened up Photoshop for me and it's loaded in my image, all from the app. I'm Eric Reno. This is a video for tipsquirrel.com. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.